What's going on everybody? Today's video is a preventative maintenance video. If you're running the Santoro Not Your Daddy's Crash Bars uh, or the new 2.0s <clears throat> with the wheel adapters, uh, there is a thing that a lot of people overlook and they don't do the maintenance on it. And pretty much wheels don't want to freaking roll very well. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and show you a couple wheel choices that I have and have used and what they sell. So stick around. All right. So. When I ordered my crash bars, I only wanted the wheel adapters, but I also got sent their wheels, which the thing I don't like about their wheels is they're a little bit smaller than what I like to use. I like them a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, as a uh, iron butterfly would say, a little chunky. But here's a issue that I've had, and there's other people that have them. Water gets in the bearings, start seizing them up. So I am going to show you how to fix that problem, and you probably should do it at least every oil change or when they start slowing down because this wheel is already done, and as you can see, it's a free spinner, and it will roll for a while even when it's attached. So I'm gonna reposition the camera and get to work. Alrighty, so there's a few tools you'll need. Q-tips, obviously. Little pick, flat blade screwdriver. <clears throat> uh, one thing I do wanna mention is I also buy these little washers and I'll put them on both sides of the wheel. That way, the clamping force is really there and it keeps it a little little more open a little more rolly all right so <clears throat> the good thing about using skateboard wheels instead of cadillac wheels because you only get two of these but when you buy skateboard wheels you get them in a four pack so I have two different type bearings here. I have the Bones Reds, which I got them for the red lip. But my other bearings are the uh, Bones Super Swiss 6, which are blue. They have a blue tint. And what I'm actually going to be doing here I just put this in for looks, but what I'm actually going to be doing is switching the reds out with the red lip here into the blues and cleaning the blues because there's six bearings in this one, seven in this one, and these are a little bit harder to clean and get together. So I'd really recommend these, but if you're looking for a different color out, outer lip, you can pretty much do what I'm doing here. You just stick your screwdriver in, pry it out. Always get your spacer out. Now, I believe when I bought these, I had to buy the spacer and the washer separate. I do believe these may actually come with the reds. I'm not sure. You'd have to look that up on Amazon. But, so what I'm going to do is use my needle here. I'll throw this stuff in a bowl I'm going to take my needle and press out the lip like so and you can see here seven bearings they uh, roll semi decent but they get dirt in them so you got to tear them apart but these I am going to switch with these because these are a little bit better of a bearing.
and I'm just going to put them on these reds and then put them over to the side. But you want to hit the needle right here on this actual metal. Because if not, you'll poke a hole in it and you'll have to do some more, more work. All right. Now, here's a quite simple part. You just push this cage out. And it comes, dump it in your bowl. We'll put these in the bowl too to clean them. Now, scoot your bearings all the way to one side and just push down all apart. And do the same to the second bearing. All right, now I use about this spray lube, spray it down, get all that dirt and stuff off. And then I'll use a rag, clean the outsides of them. Q-tip for the inside because you don't want dirt on the race. So there's our two races. Here'd be the inner race. I'll just wipe them off. Cages, wipe them off too. Make sure you get any dirt debris off of it. Outer side. The weatherproof little seal here. Now when I do this, when I get it back together, I usually use the bone speed cream, but I have no idea what I did with it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna lube these up with some WD-40 until I find it. Then uh, when I go to put them back on the bike next time, I'll just drop some speed cream in there and go with it. The bearings, I like to just run around in a circle here. Then I'll scoop them out of this oil. And this is the fun part because it could get really bad really quick if you drop one of these. And I try to just keep these together and roll them around just to get any dirt off of them. Now, quite easy part I like to do is I like to go ahead and put this side in, sit that in there, and then drop six of these little bearings in. And now I got six bearings in. Now all I got to do is use my pick and kind of line the bearings up. <clears throat> if you look at the cage, there's little deep spots. That's where the bearings go. So you kind of just eyeball it to that kind of setting. And they like to move pretty easy, so... And that's all you had to do for that. So then you just take it, push it in, then you can drop your spacer in and then do the same thing on this side.
Hmm. One always makes it look easier for the others. And drop that in. See, right now is usually when I just drop some speed cream back here, but I don't have it because I don't know where I put it. So, as you can see, a little bit of cleaning goes a long way. You don't want your wheels on your bike to, you know, seize up because I have had that happen. And these Bone Super 6 bearings are a little bit better for weather than the reds. So, and but they're a little more expensive than the red so i would say go with go with the super sixes i got to clean these too i haven't cleaned those at all and that's how you do your bearing maintenance real easy don't skimp on that just go ahead and do it knock it out it looks it, it's a pet peeve of mine i can't stand it when the wheels somebody goes up and they hit them with their foot because they want to watch them spin and they just stay because the bearings are corroded and that does happen the uh, cadillac wheels i don't think you can actually get to the bearings because these bearings are different than these so they kind of i don't know if they'll seize up or not i just didn't care for this small of a wheel and that narrow of a wheel now i'm not going to go out there on the bike and show you how to put them on i'll just use this drill bit for illustration you have a round side and a flat side of this so feel for it put the round side towards the bike put your wheel in you see how it hangs up sometimes you gotta roll that spacer a little bit inside there to drop the wheel in then you got a flat spot and a hard spot i put the cone side out from the bearing and then i just tighten it all the way down till it you, it stops because you got to set the bearing so it rolls straight because if you look at mine you can see it kind of off so when you tighten it all the way down it's going to get really stiff so this is back it off a smidge where there's no side to side play in the wheel because you don't want it doing this you want it barely snug and then you can roll it and it'll just sit there and spin uh I have seen people use them on the front crash bars. Mine, I have the Zero 3D highway pegs on it. So if it goes on its side, it's gonna tear those up before it even gets to the crash bar. So there's no point in me doing it. Some people put them on top of the rear crash bar. So it's like this. Uh, my personal opinion, it does nothing up there and it looks horrible to me. So I'll never run them that way. Um, they do have different color wheel adapters. The blue looks mighty nice. I wish they'd have had the bronze when I ordered mine because I'd have got the bronze chachos and the bronze wheel adapters. But now that they make it, I guess that will be on my list for a future date. Uh, if you have these and you've been wondering how to get these from season up, you know, glad you stopped by and glad you watched. If you don't have them, just curious, there you go. It's always a rhyme to a reason. But I got Hoot Nanny here in two weeks. So if you're in West Virginia and you want to see these crash bars in person, I will be up there just keeping an eye on my Instagram. I will probably be posting pictures up, service permitting. Um, but you're more than welcome to come up and look at them. Even if you're in Tennessee, come up and look at them. Um, Otherwise, I guess that's about it for this video. Please go like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends. Uh, especially if you, you know, the double guys, you can share it. They'll get mad. I don't care. Anyways, deuces and see you on the next one.